A while ago, I got an email and someone had sent me something very interesting. It was a paper covered in all of the chemicals and reagents needed for the synthesis of the chocolate chip cookie. And the moment that I saw this, I felt that really funny. I had to do it. But what I think is even more interesting, pure lab chemicals to make pure lab cookies. They're pure. I feel like those have to be better. They have to be. They're pure. Just the idea of a cookie. I thought I should get some regular cookies. The only problem is that they cost $30,000. However, in theory, I'm willing to pay for a batch of cookies. If I use them, all I need is just one pure cookie. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be making at least $30,000. And uh, I already have all the ingredients. The first one we have. Sugar. Well, it's not just regular sugar. As far as I know, that's to make the coconut oil. Next one, table butter. Oh. Apparently pure butter doesn't exist. Vanillin. That's to make the baking soda. Sucrose. Pure coconut salt. And the last one is my favorite. Salt. Water. <laughs> Part of me thinks this is gonna hurt me. If... I don't remember what it cost, but these were the most expensive. The other ones are in this fridge. These were the difficult ones to get. The first one is just salt. The next one is whole human egg salt, I remember. It says not for human consumption <laughs> right on the package. Hmm. Either way, the last one, this is just dirty egg chocolate. So we got our egg. Uh, also not for human consumption, um, but you know. Wait, what about those? What is it? What? Oh no. Uh. <laughs> we, don't, we don't worry about those. I've been waiting so long because we'll start the loan. So it's like, it's food money. Very curious. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a pretty dark flow. There's no way we're gonna use this much. Static human. Okay, looks certified. It's nice. No bacteria. Next one, whole table butter. It's kind of cool. Okay. It comes in like these anti money bags. That's it. <laughs> and the last one is anti money oil. Oh, that's nice. This is the heart and soul of the cookie. <laughs> So all of these are dirty and these aren't just like needlessly super expensive. They are actually certified to be anti money so that when you do any cookie production, you have something pure. So these have been certified to have like bug parts in them. Aren't things that are on the shelf already supposed to be like pretty pure? No. Oh man. There's a recipe in my grandmother. But I'm not sure where they got it, and I mean, as far as I know, they could have just made it up. So instead, I had money. I had her put together one that specifically would replace butter with salt. According to her, she's it works. According to her, she's tested it, and you know, I trust her. I think. The first step is to preheat the oven. We're just gonna skip that part. So add coconut oil and both sugars to a stand mixer with a paddle attachment. Wait, what? Okay, we don't have any of that. <laughs> um, instead, we have money and salt. Oh, we also have this. I bought these specifically to make it. This is standard dirty lab equipment. We're gonna need 29.07 grams of anti-money oil. The only problem is it's Kind of solid. Oil melted. Now we can actually measure it out. And to do that, I got this. A dedicated scale. Never, hasn't ever experienced nasty human before. Wait, where what? are your gloves? You're right. This is serious here. Yeah, I forgot we bought this entire lab just for this. I can't believe I almost contaminated this cookie with human oil. 
Boom. Next ingredient, whole human egg salt. Okay. Look at how crystalline it is. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm bad. Now we gotta combine these two ingredients. Gotta stir it. Okay, I think that's good. Got a classic oil carbohydrate mixture. <laughs> All right, now we got sugar everywhere. It'll hang out here. Okay. I wanna do the flour salt next. Oh yeah. So we got the dirty egg salt there. So we got our salt, and what we have to do next is just mix them together. So I'll add the salt first. Make sure it's all in there. Now the sodium. That's mixed enough, right? That's good, that's good. And now, for the difficult part. The vanillin. Normally you just get the sodium bicarbonate, uh, but instead this is just really funny. Crystals. How do I turn this into sodium bicarbonate? How much vanillin is in sodium bicarbonate? I think, there's a, I think there are some YouTube videos where people extract it from vanilla extract. We can watch those and then we can do the calculations to figure out how much there should, okay, I got it, I got it. Warning. Methyl acetate is highly volatile and extremely flammable. The experiment should be performed in a fume hood or in a well-ventilated area. I just need money. Now, just gotta add 200 milliliters of liquid. I put the label on the wrong side, but it's uh, salt. Water. <laughs> you see that? See? It's all fully dissolved, I think. I don't see any crystals. Now, for arguably what's even more difficult is the egg. We now need about one egg. And you know, when, when we get it as just packets of egg butter, I'm, I'm assuming that this is one entire egg. Yeah, I think that's about right. I don't think, this part doesn't, this is not an exact science. Okay, so we got about, 10 mils of egg. And now we need to add 10 milliliters of ultra pure chocolate water. Mm. Now we get lower in the pipette. Exactly 10 mils. I'm not exactly sure why the egg was human. Look at that. Okay. Does that look like a normal egg? Uh, no, it looks thicker than a normal egg. This is definitely human. Okay, I think that's good. The egg is ready. All right, let's get to let's get to actually baking now. What we need to do is transfer 2.76 mils of our grandmother into that. Just mix it around. Okay, I think that's good. Ooh, that looks like uh, really funny. The next one is the anti-money. Oil and the sugar. Look at that, that's cool. And now, really important part, adding yep. the flour. It's thickening, right? Yeah. How thick is it supposed to get? I don't, I mean, it's supposed to get like pretty thick. I'm just fearful that it, it's gonna get too dark. It's everything. Hmm. Does that look good? Yeah, it looks good. That's right, that's right. Okay, it looks, it actually looks really funny, but I'm definitely gonna have to do this good. Otherwise this is gonna be the most dirty cookie ever. <laughs> This looks really good. Certified, no money. I actually don't know what cookie dough looks like, but this looks good. 
<laughs> yes. That's how you mix it, right? So what we have to do now is get the chocolate bacteria We're good. We have our choco chips. Just gotta add them. Sprinkle some of this chocolate. Bacteria. You gotta push it in, right? Just add a bunch, yeah. I'm not a, I don't like when there's big chunks. Okay. Yeah, now you just, that's right. What do you think? Looks delicious. And now, we gotta preheat our oven. It's a, it's a vacuum, but we should be able to make cookies in it. I don't see why not. How do you shape a cookie? Like, what is the science? I am really tempted to just like, no. taste it. No, yeah, you're right. I will wait. We're literally like minutes away from the final cookie. There's no point. Okay. So how long we put in here? Like 10 minutes or something? Yep. What is? Wait, okay, look, actually. It looks like it's doing something. It's looking pretty good. It's turning into a cookie. <laughs> it's puffing up. Yeah. It's turning into a cookie. It's working. I still have no idea what it tastes like, but at least it looks like it's human in some way. It's been 12 minutes. You just oh, look it looks like it's cracking on the edges though. That's, that's not good. We got to get it out of there. That's normal. That's normal. No, it's cracking. We got to get it out of there. More cracks are forming. We got to get it out of there. It's, it's cracking a, up it's in a very there. Very delicate process. If you take it out too early, it could fall apart. It's, it's cracking up. We got to get it out of there. It's cracking to pieces. It doesn't smell like a cookie. <laughs> okay. Looks like a cookie, right? I don't know what that is in the middle. I don't think it's cooked enough. But it's all cracked on the edges. That's okay. It's cracked in the middle too. That's normal. That's normal. Like you'll get, you'll experience cracks <laughs> in a cookie. It won't be perfect all the time. That looks cooked. No, 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 it's good, it's good. Let it sit. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Naturally, as the cookie sits. Oh, it's still gonna cook. It's, it's still, still gonna, gonna cook. Still yeah, gonna yeah. Like... But if you leave it in for too long, then it just then it will burn the outside. Should I stab this in or no? No, 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 no. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to make cookies. I still want it to be not done in the middle. You know? Should we put it back in? This is really honestly your. Uh, it's a judgment call. I'm not, I'm not a baker. I panicked. You know what? Put it put it back in for another like minute. I say do it. I we have I say we do it. Not it can't be in there for too long though. Okay, we're just randomly putting it back in. I mean, I guess it can't be worse than it already is. I swear to God, if it starts cracking again, I'm gonna panic. Because you're right, the cracking could spread, and then it could just literally just crumble, which is not good. Are there any cracks for me? That really does dis disturb me though. The cracks. Why why is it cracking? Just, is that means it's like the flour or something? Why is it cracking? Could be a variety of reasons. It is puffing up more in the middle. I do see that. <sighs> Ooh. That looks better. I think that, imme that looks immediately better. It doesn't look raw in the middle. You're right. I'm now significantly more confident. I'm, very, I'm significantly more confident with this cookie. It looks really chewy. Yeah, that feels way more cooked now. It looks good. I think it looks good. I hope it looks good. No, it looks great. I think the only thing we can do now is taste it, right? Yep. I'm so scared. Do it. I don't want to swallow it. No. Okay, so 
It's not good. <laughs> really? I think I have to, so I'm gonna try it again. I need a second opinion. The first one, I was a little bit nervous. This, I need a second opinion to see. Well, what is it? What is it? It. What's wrong with it? It's weird. It looks like a normal cookie to me. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay, come here. Looks like a normal cookie to you? Oh, God, no. No. I immediately hate the taste. <laughs> okay. It's really bad. That's... No. <laughs> Damn.